According to many scholars, having a study routine is integral to the process of learning. And personally for me, it's what took me from not being able to code to finally being able to code and build my own projects. And then almost any sort of productivity book like you read, such as Deep Work by Cal Newport, they talk about the importance of having a study routine. So in this video, I'm going to share my entire study routine of how I'm able to code and how I was able to build applications such as my mentor AI. And right now I'm building another application. I'm going to share how often I code, how long I code and what I do during my coding sessions. And especially as self-taught developers, we have to understand this because we aren't taught this in university. I code six days a week, no if, ands, or but. As self-taught developers, we have to stay consistent with how often we're coding. Consistency is the name of the game. And I found that if I code every day at the same time, I become so much more productive and I get more done. And that one day off is supposed to give me that little mental break from coding. But if you want, you can go seven days a week. That's your personal choice. And another benefit I found from coding nearly every day is the momentum that I build. You see, most programmers on here, though they are more experienced than me, say to code three, four days a week. And though that is somewhat good advice, in my opinion, if you can code more than that, you will see much better results. You gotta treat coding like a habit. It's how you will get good at it and how you will improve at it. And most good coders do code every day. And if you wanna be a good coder, that's important to do. So the next part of my study routine is how long I code. I code for two to four hours in those six uh, days a week of coding. Again, this is volume and it did take me a lot of time to get to this point, but I can't stress enough how helpful this has been. Uh, and I like to split up the coding sessions in two hours each. So in the morning I code for two hours, then in like the noonish time I code for another two hours. Those two hours allows me to get into deep work. And if you don't know what a deep work state is, like do you know when you've played sports before or you were so deeply focused at something that you didn't have any thoughts and you were entirely present while working? That's what deep work is. It's the state where you're much more productive, you can get more done, and the worries and the thoughts are simply not there because you are so intergrained with the work that you're doing. And for coding for two to four hours, that's what it allows me to do. And I feel like this is a big part of why a lot of people don't see progress. They simply say, I'm gonna code for 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day, and move on to the next day. I, I think that's totally wrong, and as, as soon as I made the switch, I instantly saw some progress with what I was doing. And the final thing is what I do. My philosophy behind learning to code is actually quite simple. So the learning part is quite simple, right? Like I go on to free code camp, I watch a video on YouTube and I just learn the subject that I am learning. And then after I'm done those lessons, I go onto my code editor and I start programming and applying it into a project. So for example, right, like today I was working on the back end of my roadmap application and I had to watch a four hour tutorial on how to implement a uh, back end into an application. So I watched the video, I finished it up and as soon as that was done, I went into my code editor and I started coding until it was done. And by doing this, right, not only am I like learning the theory and watching someone do good practice of a specific aspect of code, but I'm also applying it into my own projects, which solidifies my knowledge and forces me to learn it at a much higher level. And that's really it for the learning part. It's quite simple, but usually a programmer will miss one aspect of it where they're only applying and they're not learning enough, or they're only learning and they're not able to code their own projects. And if you wanna know more about my journey, check out the video right here.